It's a snowy day on the outskirts of Wall's End, and here sit the ancient remains of Holy Cross Church. This building dates back to 1145 AD, though there was likely a wooden church on the site before that, founded by monks from the Priory of Jarrow. As you approach, you are immediately struck by the fine stone porch, hinting at the architecture of the church as was. Doubtless originally wooden, the porch has been built in stone during the lifetime of the church, the two styles of arch hinting at the time which had passed. This would have been a place of meeting, business, paying of debts, and settling legal disputes. The inner arch hints at a solid wooden door, hung to keep out the cold. Indeed, there is still a fragment of an iron hinge for such a door. Outside the church, stone buttresses once again reinforce the impression of the masonry which was once here. It probably looked similar to Escombe Church in County Durham, another early medieval stone church. Both were built using Roman stone, Escombe from the remains of Binchester Fort and Holy Cross from Hadrian's Wall. Notice the tall, narrow nave, whose name shares a root with the word navel. It was meant to invoke an upturned ship in which the congregation were sat together. As with all early churches, Holy Cross is split into two, the sanctuary where the priest would perform his duties and the nave where the congregation would gather. The sanctuary area was probably originally a wooden hut outside which the congregation would sit, then a wooden nave was added and eventually the whole thing was replaced in stone. These huts were usually located at previous holy sites, such as springs or meeting stones. For close to a thousand years, the lives of people in Wall's End played out in and around this building, from the sacrament of baptism in the font which sat upon the stone circle, to death and being buried in consecrated ground around the church. Though at the centre of daily life, the church was removed from the settlement, deliberately across a dean, away from the early medieval town of Wall's End. Let us make our way there, rather carefully because of all the ice, down into the dean. As we go, we pass by a rather handy tributary, access to the River Tyne, and back up, up the hill towards, oh hang on, <gasps> there we go, towards the green, which was once the central street of the early medieval town of Wall's End. It's a rather pleasant spot today, but what happened to Holy Cross Church? Well, in 1798 it was decommissioned and replaced by 1807 by another church, St. Peter's across the Dean. This was doubtless to afford easier access and a larger plot of land. It's a lovely building in its own right, but I'm getting rather cold, so if you don't mind, I'm going to head back to Archeosoup Towers and get a cup of tea.